Hank Greenberg, nicknamed Hammer and Hank, is considered to be one of the greatest sluggers in baseball history. He spent most of his career playing for the Detroit Tigers in the 1930s and 1940s. Below are his home run totals for each season he played. Find the mean, median, mode, and mid-range. So let's find each one, starting with the mean. So the mean is also known as the arithmetic average, which means that we're going to add all of these numbers up and then divide by the total number that we have. So I'm going to add each of these numbers, so just adding all of these up. see what that is. So 0, so plus 12, plus 26, 36, 140, 58, 33, 41, 2, 13, 44, 25. So altogether he hit 331 home runs. Now we're going to take that and divide it by the total number of seasons that he played. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 seasons. So 331 divided by 13. So his average, uh, let's go to one decimal place, is about 25.5 runs for every season. Home runs. So that's the mean. So the next thing I want to find is the median. The median is simply the middle number of the data. But you have to be really careful because it's the middle number of the ordered data. So as I go through all of this information, we need to write them in order. Critical. So starting with 0. The next one was 1. 2. Uh, the next one I see is 12. 13, 25, 26, 33, 36, 40, 41, and 44, 58. Okay, so what we're going to do is find the middle number. So one way we can do this is kind of start on the outsides and work your way in. So starting on the outsides, so move one in, move one in, move one in, move in, move in. So 26 is right in the middle. So the median is 26. Okay, the next thing we want to find is the mode. Mode is simply the most repeated number. So I can look from my order here, see if there's any numbers that repeated. None of them repeated, so we actually say this one has no mode. Be careful that you don't say zero. Zero means that zero repeated the most. That's not the case, so we just say no mode. So it's mode. And then the last thing we want is the mid-range. And mid-range is basically the average of the lowest and the highest number. So the lowest number is zero. The highest number was 58. So if I take those two, add them up and divide by two, we're going to get 29. Okay, let's look at another one uh, where everything's already in order for us. So let's look at another tiger, Al Kaline, nicknamed Mr. Tiger. So he played his entire 22-year baseball career for the Detroit Tigers. Below the number of hits per season from least to greatest. Again, let's find the mean, median, mode, and mid-range. Okay, so starting with the mean, first thing we're going to do is add all of these up and then divide by 22 years, so by, divide by 22. Okay, so I'm just going to drop this into the calculator, add all this up.
So I get 3,007. So dividing that by 22. Uh, we're getting about 136.7 pits. Let's see what the median is. So to find the median, we're looking for the middle number. Now since this is going to be an even number, we have 22 years, we're going to have to do something a little differently from the previous problem, but you can still do the same thing. You can work your way and count in. I'm going to show you a different way to do that. So since we have an even number, which is 22. If I divide that by 2, what we're going to be looking for is the 11th position. So instead of counting in, I'm just going to go to the 11th number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, now keep in mind, because this is an even uh, number, we need to take the average of the 11th number and the 12th number. So the median is going to be 139 plus 141 divided by 2, giving us 140. Okay, if you don't like what I did when I divided by 2 there, I'm just trying to find where the middle is, you can still just count your way in. You'll end up with the same number. Okay, the next thing we want is the mode, which is the number that's most repeated. So as I went through and added all of this up, the only number I hit twice was the 170. So 170 is the mode. And then lastly is finding the mid-range, which is finding the average of the lowest and the highest. So looking at the data, the lowest is 7, the highest is 200. So averaging that out, so we have 270 divided, or 207 divided by 2, so we get 